buddy. They are big steps, aren't they, mate? Hey, mate, how are you doing? Good. So you, you're a sheep shearer? Yep. How long have you been doing that? Uh, 20 years. <laughs> wow, you're, a, you're an old soul in a very small body, aren't you? <laughs> so what got you into sheep shearing? Because my dad taught me. Yeah? What do you like about shearing sheep? I love shearing them um, when, they, when they're nice and friendly and they don't kick. Do they kick a fair bit? Yeah. How do you calm a sheep down if it gets a bit angry? What do you do? Pat it. How do you pat it? <laughs> oh. Me! Is that a noise a sheep makes? Me! 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 Are you sure that's the noise a sheep makes? Yeah. Isn't it more... <laughs> Sounds like a truck that's about to back up. No. <laughs> so, how do grown-ups talk? So, can you... I know. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you talk like your dad does? Eh. <laughs> Going on, what's going on there? Charlie, don't look now, but I think there's someone behind us. Who's back there? Who's back there? You'll never know. You can only see the back of his head. He's enormous, <laughs> isn't he? Hey, stand up. You'll get to see what you'll look like when you get older. Stand up on the couch. Let's see how, this is how big you're going to look when you're older. There you go. <laughs> so tell me, what have you been doing for these 20 years? Uh, some whole sheep. Yeah? Some half sheep. When you say a half sheep, what do you mean by that? Half some wool off. Oh, only half the wool, not half a sheep. <laughs> That'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Who else is on the farm with you? Have you got any brothers or sisters? That one's my sister down there. The front. What, what's her name? Tilda. Right. Is that an abbreviation or something? Is it just Tilda? Just Tilda. And so, uh, Dad, what are all your names? Clint, Matilda and Donna. You said her name was just Tilda. <laughs> What'd you do with the ma? Mum's that one. Oh, there's ma, there. <laughs> Dropped the phone down the toilet. Well, who was down there she was passing the phone to? Mum got it out the toilet. Might have been a long distance call, just tried to get it there without pain. Drop the phone down, flush it. <laughs> now, I know a little bit about farming, so they're shearing scissors, yeah? Yep. Yep. They take the wool off. They take the wool off. Can I have a and look they at take hair off. They take hair off? Really? This hair. But they take my hair off my legs. No. No? No. You couldn't shear me. No. No, I'm so glad you said no to that. Now listen, I've got a little box of tricks around the back here. Now what, what have we got here? What, what just happened then? What? Just then when you got out, what did you do? You did a wiggle with your butt. <laughs> what was a that? sheep wiggle. <laughs> What's the sheep wiggle? Is, is that what they do? Yeah. <laughs> so, what's in your little box of tricks? What have we got in here? So, that, is that... Oh, there you go, go on. A little bit off the sides there, mate, if you can. So, do you practise on that little sheep? Yeah. So, how often do you practise with that? I don't know. Is that...? How come you've got slippers on? Do you wear them around the house or around the farm? No, I only wear them when I'm starting about to shear, mate. Start, so you wear those when you're shearing? Yeah. You know what? Do you want to shear a real sheep for us? Yeah. Well, it sounds like they'd love to see you do it too, buddy. We'll see you soon. There goes Charlie, everybody. He's a true blue Aussie farmer. Let's hear it for Charlie. Now, I'll tell you what, should we get your dad up here to help you out? Come on, Dad! Here comes Dad. We'll let you in there. You want to start with the blades or your hand paste, Charlie? Blades, I'll start with. He's going to start with the blade, ladies and gentlemen. Here he goes, he's going to grab one here. Oh, there you go. Okay. I was worried he didn't have the strength, but it looks like he's got that. Can you get that other little one for your blades? No, this one's good for the blade. This one's good for the blade, he says. All right. That one's got too short a wall, Dad. 
not shit you need. Roll it again. Look, yeah. Does anyone think I should shit? Here he goes. Now, how hard is it to do? Uh, not even hard, mate. <laughs> Well, it doesn't seem hard for Charlie. We spend a lot of time in the shearing shed over the years. So what's the technique to this, Dad? Just slow and steady, feel your way down around the skin and take the wool off with your blow, yeah. And you can see he's had a fair bit of practice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we shear all our own sheep on the farm and he's just sort of picked it up. Yeah, click goes the shears, <laughs> hey? See me talking linger? You know it, click go the shears, don't yeah, you? Go mate? on, sing the song, Charlie. I'm not singing it. <laughs> not singing it. <laughs> Not singing it. <laughs> no. Right. Dad, can you pick that head up? Oh, you've been told what to do already, Dad. <laughs> so the sheep seem quite calm. Are they used to being sheared, or has he just got away with sheep? Um, does seem to have a, a bit of a way. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to put the wool? And we're finished, are we? There he goes. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fantastic there. Well, he Dad, wants... Dad, get the evening going! I think we're, pre we're pretty good this. Daddy, open it! <laughs> you know what, we're actually good. We don't even need to do that one. Can I share one with the hand, please? Does, uh, does he usually get his own way on the farm? Oh, uh, <laughs> he's pretty headstrong. He likes his own way, yeah. <laughs> yeah? How often does he get it? Oh, probably too often. <laughs> Looks like Charlie wants to keep going. We'll let him do what he does, shear and sheep. Big round of applause for Charlie, everyone. Eek, eek, eek. Little off the top. The next little big shot first appeared onto the Allen Show, and I'm very excited he's here tonight. His home is Mumbai, India, and it's there that he discovered his three passions in life. I like to dance, eat, and to make other people happy. But how he got started as a dancer will amaze you. Make some noise for Akshat! Very famous, aren't you? I'm. I dance to be happy and make others happy. Well, you do that. You do that very well, my friend. Are you happy? Yeah. How do you move like that? Because I eat a lot. <laughs> this is my pizza. This is my burger, and this is my chicken. <laughs> East or west, food is the best. <laughs> So you like chicken? Yeah, chicken a lot. Roasted chicken, real chicken, biryani, chicken biryani, uh, chicken butter masala, chicken tikka, chicken kebab, chicken lollipop, chicken chilli. Ah, wow. <laughs> Do you cook? No, I eat. <laughs> 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 so 
So at some point, you're going to have to find a wife who can cook for you. I don't run after bus, trains and girls. You don't run after buses, trains or girls? Yeah. <laughs> I only run after food. <laughs> and the person who makes the food. So who, who does the cooking at home, Mum or Dad? Mum. And Mum's a good cook? Yeah. Very good cook. My favourite cook, haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very good. And, and can Dad cook? No. We both eat. <laughs> What got you into dancing? From the age of four, uh, I said to my father that I want to dance. So my father took me to a dance class. The dance teacher told, he's so fat, how he can dance? So he put me in the last row of the dance class. I was standing and seeing uh, what I can do. So early in the morning at four o'clock, I went to the field. Because uh, if I went at seven o'clock, all the people saw me and laughed. So in, at the four o'clock, uh, no, no, uh, nobody was there, so I can practice on my own in the field. And there I uh, practiced splits, backflip, all the things. And I said to all the children and the world that fat people can dance. Yes, they can, my friend. <laughs> Dad, Dad, it must be so exciting, number one, to have such an amazing son, but to be able to travel the world because of his passion to dance. Uh, we never went to a flight or out of India. And because actually we went to US. He's a very lucky child, talented child, and I want just to bless everybody. Bless Akshat. Thank oh, you. That's gorgeous, mate. That's gorgeous. So, who, who are your favourite dancers? Michael Jackson. Can you dance like Michael Jackson? Yeah. <laughs> can you teach me how to dance? Yeah, I can. You can. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. What am I going to do here? Yeah. First, like this. <laughs> now, like this. Now, like this. <laughs> yeah. Two more. Yeah. One more. Now, in Australia, yeah. you say that, hi, bro, how are you? All good? In, in India. Very... In hey, bro, there you go. All good. All good? Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, there you go. <laughs> in, in Mumbai. We say the same thing in other language. I will teach you. Yes. You have to say, Kya bulu? Kya bulu? Sabrava. Sabrava. Is that good? You are my brother. We are brothers. <laughs> Let's hear it for Akshat, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back right after this. Don't go too far. This little big shot is strong, fast, and can perform unbelievable physical acts. She's also six years old, and she's a cutie. Hi, my name's Alexa, and I'm six years old, and this is my cutie. <laughs> I just want people to know that power jump because I think it's the coolest thing ever. Welcome, Power Tumbler, Alexa! Hey, sweetheart, how are you, darling? Jump on up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you've got a fan club. Yeah. Alexa, you brought your own fan club. Who's making all that noise? Is that no. those people? <laughs> Welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. You're tiny. So what, what are you called? A power tumbler? Yeah. Are you strong? You've got to be strong. Yeah. You got big muscles? Yeah. Go on, flex them. <laughs> Gee whiz. That's like a little rock in there. Do you reckon you're stronger than me? You do? What's a good way of proving it? What could we do? A plank competition. Oh, not plank. Really? Yeah. Planking? Yeah. I've got to plank, all right. So, what are the rules of planking? You have to be on your elbows. On your elbows? And on your toes. All right, so my arms have to be like that. Yeah. And my toes have to be touching. And your belly can't be there on the ground. Okay, so my, my belly can't be on the ground. All right, well you get there, you start the plank, and I will follow all of those rules. We ready? On the count of three. <laughs> 
go. You have to do it on the floor. Hey, my belly's not on the ground. My elbows are down. You have to do it on the floor. How long do I do this for? I'm pretty good. <laughs> are, you, are you still off the ground? Yeah. I'm actually running out of air just because my guts are squashed. <laughs> and you're still there like that. Right. So this is exercise? Yes. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> How are you still doing that? I don't know. You don't know? It's because you're really fit. Are you comfortable like that? Yeah. Do you want to do the interview like that? No. No, I bet you don't. Give a round of applause. How good's that? <laughs> so what do you want to be when you grow up? The world's best tumbler. Who's the best tumbler in the world at the moment? Ethan. Who's, who's Ethan? That boy there. That boy over there. Give us a wave, Ethan. There's Ethan. So he, he tumbles? Yeah. But I'm going to be better than him when I'm older. Yes, sister. <laughs> so, on to more important questions. What's the worst smell in the world? <laughs> Is it someone over there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? It's Ethan's fault. Does... Ethan let go little poison darts, does he? <laughs> and, that, and, and what's he doing when he's doing that? When he finishes at the end, he does it. He doesn't do it all the way down, does he? <laughs> no. Just on the finish? Yeah. What a great finish in my book. <laughs> Ethan, lift your game, fix your diet. <laughs> right. Will you have a boyfriend one day or a husband? Never have a boyfriend? No. Why not? Because I don't want to. You don't want to? Because what about Ethan? <laughs> Ask him. Ask him. Oh, is, that how, is this how it works? I'll check. Okay. Seems you've asked. Let's find out. Good luck. Turn into a dating show. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. Would you take Alexa as your wife? He stinks in so many ways. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know what? I love talking to you. I reckon I could spend my entire life talking to you. But what about if you run out of questions to say? <laughs> I still have to show you my tumbling. You want to show your tumbling? Yeah. OK, well, I'll tell you what. You go for a ride on the magic couch. Give everyone a wave, and when you come back... You can show us your tumbles. She's a pocket rocket and she's ready to launch. Make some noise for six-year-old Alexa. Here she goes. Here goes the powder. Don't forget, folks, she's just six years old. She's going to attempt six backflips in a row. Oh. 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 Wow! Now, just to prove it wasn't a fluke, she's going again. the finale, which will be the most difficult of all. This move involves backflips where her hands don't even touch the ground. Let's hear it for the incredible six-year-old Alexa. 
If you're easily puzzled, you'll be blown away by this little big shot who can solve a Rubik's Cube in about 12 seconds. And he can even solve two at once. But tonight, he's going to attempt something that's going to blow your mind. Please welcome, all the way from China, it's 12-year-old Zhen Yu. <laughs> Zhen Yu, welcome, my friend, welcome. We've also got an interpreter who's going to help us out. This is Mia, everyone. Take a seat, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Where did you get your first Rubik's Cube? When he was six. Right. So, how many Rubik's Cubes do you have? Around 500. 500? That's a lot of Rubik's Cubes. Is that 499 broken ones and one good one? <laughs> How long do you think it would take me to solve a Rubik's Cube? Uh, he said you couldn't do it in a million years' time. <laughs> You're right. So, can you show us how you do it? Can we see you do it? Do you want him to um, be blindfolded? Sorry? He said he asked if he can do it blindfolded. Are you serious? He can do it blindfolded? Yeah. That's incredible. He wants everyone to be silent, so he can concentrate. Okay. He seems to be memorising the entire cube here, folks. Let's see how he goes. I tried to solve one once when I was blind and that didn't go so well, but it's a very different thing. <laughs> How on earth can you solve it when you can't even see it? Uh, he says he has to remember the position of every single one and then he uses the formula. That's unbelievable. I can't remember how to spell his name, and I've seen it written on the wall there about <laughs> ten <laughs> times. <laughs> so, now, does he have an idol, someone he looks up to? Um, Felix Zemdags, and he really hopes to meet him while he's in Australia. And what does Felix do? Um, the best person that does Rubik's Cube, like the fastest record holder. Right. We have footage, apparently, of the man that is the world record holder. Let's have a look at the video. Oh. Wow. That is unbelievable. So he's, he's the best in the world. And, and you hope to meet him when you're in Australia? Yes. You don't have to wait too long. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Felix. How are you going? Take a seat. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? I think he may have been a bit of shock. Mate, welcome to the show. Um, that looked unbelievably quick. H how fast was that? It was it four or five seconds or something? It felt like it. Right. So, how big is the community of Rubik's Cube solvers? Officially, there have been about 50,000 or 40,000 people that have ever competed. Uh, it's very popular in China and America as well. It's, it's definitely growing. So, how good is he? You're obviously aware of him. Uh, yes, so I've, yeah, I've heard of John Yu and his ability to solve cubes and, yeah. Well, you two look desperate to compete. You keep looking at each other. <laughs> it's like looking at two cowboys with guns in their holster. Can you have this, Emma? Do you want, do you yeah, want to have a go he against... Wants to race. He wants to race. All right, let's, let's get into this. Here we go. Three, e two, R. one, go. Now, 
just so I can get this right, I believe you can you can solve more than one Rubik's cube at a time. How many can you solve at once? At once, probably just the one. Okay, stand by to be beaten. So, <laughs> let's go for a walk. Come on down here. We've got some Rubik's cubes waiting for you. It looks like Jian Yu has got three cubes this time. This is unbelievable. Oh, you're kidding. He's gonna do it with his feet. All right, here we go, folks. Three, two, one. Go! Solving one cube is something. Solving three at once using both hands and both feet? The sheer complexity of this is just mind-blowing. Can you spot his technique? Do you know what it is he's doing? Uh, yeah, I can see pieces coming together and where he's up to on the various cubes. So how he's, he's up to the last layer on all of those cubes now. He's finished the bottom one. someone who's more of a little trick shot than a little big shot. Hi, I'm Jaden. I'm 12 years old and I'm the snooker national champion. I started the under 12s when I was eight years old. I won um, when I was nine. And then when I was 10, I came third. And when I was 11, which was last year, um, I won, yeah. Please welcome snooker table trickster, 12-year-old Jaden. Hello. Hey, Chad, how are you doing, buddy? Good. Take a seat there. You brought your cue with you. Thank you. You can put them down there. Have a rest if you want. Lay your guns down, Tiger. Lay your guns down. <laughs> welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you. So, what on earth got you into snooker at such a young age? Um, well, I started snooker at six. You wouldn't have been able to see over the table. Oh, like, like, over my shoulder. Not over your shoulder. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. And so there's a pool table at home and that's how you got into it? Oh, uh, yeah, we have two pool tables. Um, but the way I got into it was my mum and dad went out to a pub one night <laughs> and... Now we're getting there. We're learning a bit about you now. Is mum in the audience tonight? Um, I have no idea. Okay, okay. I know how to Maybe. solve this. Does anyone know who this child is? <laughs> Has anyone seen oh, this child that. perhaps in their house? There we go, there's Mum. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Round of applause for Mum. <laughs> so, from the age of six, he started playing pool. Yes. We were at the RSL and Jaden asked if he could go to junior coaching and I said, oh, bud, you're a bit little. And the coach said, no, he's not. Bring him along. Oh, isn't that so great? he started and just loved it. So fantastic. So you get coached? Um, well, I get coached by two people. One is my dad, and one is my main coach. His name's Bob. Who's better? Probably Bob. Probably. <laughs> mm. Mm. Where's, where's I hope, I hope dad? My dad's not watching this. Yeah, you hope your dad's. You hope your dad's not watching this. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does dad reckon he's better? No, I don't think so. He knows now. <laughs> what would you rate your dad out of one to ten? As a player. What would you rate your dad from one to ten as a dad? We'll get to snooker in a minute. As a dad? Probably a nine out of ten. A nine out of ten? That's pretty good. Yeah. Where do he lose the point? Is it looks? I really don't know. <laughs> what about mum? What's mum out of ten? Go high, kid. A Go ten, high. Yeah. A ten. Very good. <laughs> Just trying to help you out. Just trying to help you out. You got a ten out of ten, Mum. Thanks, Jaden. You got brothers or sisters? Yeah, I've got a little brother. Yep. Who's nine years old. Yep. And I've got another brother on the way. 
Oh, you've got another brother on the way? Yep. Mum's pregnant. Fantastic. Uh, have we done anything wrong here, Mum, or does everyone know? Everyone knows. Everyone totally knows? Everyone totally knows. Even Dad at home right now watching? <laughs> Great. This one, I don't want too much to get released on this show without anyone's permission. That would be bad. Yes. So, you've won a lot of trophies and awards, haven't you? I mm. think we've got a camera set up in your house right now. No, I'm kidding. We've just got photos. Wow, look at that. That's unbelievable. Do you bath in those? <laughs> no. You could. So, does the size of the trophy dictate how important they are? So, the one in the top left and the top right... Yeah, the big ones. Um, yeah, they're the state trophies. For Sanuka, under 12s, I'm number one. Yeah. And for under 15s, I'm number one as well. Amazing. That's incredible. Now, would you like to show us some of your tricks? Yeah, sure. Right. You stay right there. When he comes back, let's see this hustler do his thing. What do you reckon? He's a snooker trick shot champion. Give it up for 12-year-old Jaden. Right. What are you going to do first? All right, so we'll go on this table first. OK. All right, so this shot's called pinball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump the white ball through the triangle. Mm -hmm. It's going to come up these cues and end up into that middle pocket. OK. I don't know how it's going to do that, but that's why you do this and I don't. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone! Unbelievable! Well, that works. What now? Alright, um, I need Mum up here. Mum, can you come on up? She's going to give us a hand. Alright, can you please hold that? Uh, Just for a sec. Right. This is weird. We're going to blindfold Mum. I wouldn't do that. She's pregnant. All right, so this shot's called Blinded. I'm going to hit those two yellow balls. Yeah. And each ball is going to go into each corner pocket. That's fantastic. All right. All right. Can you please slide it down when yeah, I Yeah, certainly, mate. Let us know when. Yep. All good. Here we go. Oh! Now, uh, Jaden, before you said you were a state champion, but yeah. Mum, he's not quite telling the truth, is he? Well, he is a state champion, but he's, but he's also, also the national champion. Thank you. <laughs> so he didn't tell you that, did he, ladies and gentlemen? He's pretty humble. Now, what do you got next? Um, so this shot's called switch. I'm going to put just the right amount of spin on the yellow to make the triangle stay off. Oh, OK, the old switch of room. <laughs> One more. Uh, this shot's called machine gun. I'm going to hit the white off two cushions. Yep. While the white's travelling around, I'm going to hit each of these four balls into the middle pocket. And then as soon as the white gets up here, I'm going to hit the white into the middle pocket as well. Fantastic. The machine gun it is. Let's have a look at it. The machine gun. Shot who loves to rock and roll all night and do schoolwork every day from Brazil. Please give it up for seven year old Eduarda. <laughs> Eduarda, how are you, darling? How are you? Oh, hello, sweetheart. Oh, you're gorgeous. How come you've got two sets of drumsticks? I want to give for you. Oh, is this a present? Yes. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Alfonso. He's our interpreter. <laughs> now, we may not need him because you speak English pretty well, don't you? Yeah, but I only know a little bit. I don't know, like, all English. <laughs> now, we've got a video here. Yeah. When we asked you how much you like drumming, let's see what you said. Like this. Right here. So, you like rock and roll music? I do rock. 
So is that, is that, does that mean rock, does it? Yeah. Rock. <laughs> Do you want to end up playing in a rock band? Um, I was with, with a band, but now I don't have more, cos... <laughs> rock and roll's pretty tough life, isn't it, man? <laughs> Who would you want to meet if you could meet anyone from any band in the world? Quem é que queres conhecer se pudesses conhecer alguém de, das bandas do mundo? Kiss. You want to meet Kiss? I like Kiss. Have like this. Is that? Uh, <laughs> Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons. But I like ACDC because it was my first music for drum. Do you know where the band ACDC come from? Right here. My mommy say. Yeah. <laughs> now, do the neighbours ever complain? Um, os vizinhos têm uh, queixas. No, no, os vizinhos adoram. The, the neighbours like it very much. They must be the only neighbours on the planet that <laughs> like drums. And, and is that... <laughs> You're so keen to drum. <laughs> What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a super, super drummer singer. Oh, so you want to sing and play the drums? Yep, I sing and play the drums. What do your friends think about the fact that you play drums? He like it. He, he likes it? No, and all. All your friends? Yeah. How many friends have you got? I don't know. You don't know. You've got so many friends you can't count. It's because everybody is my friend. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Do you think there should be more girl drummers? No, everybody. Everybody should drum? Yeah. That would annoy the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe you're going to play a song for us tonight yes. on the drums. Can I say the name? Yeah. It's Black Dog. From Led Zeppelin? Yes. You play Led Zeppelin. Are you ready to play the drums for us? Yeah! Yeah, do we want to hear her play the drums? You bet they do. I love you guys! She drums, she sings, she's a superstar rock princess. Eduardo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's a rock and roll concert on your feet. Here we go, take it away, Eduardo. Welcome to the Little Big Shots YouTube channel. This is where you'll find some of the most talented children in the world. There are new videos every week, plus bonus bits of Little Big Shots not seen anywhere else. Just click on the links right now, and why not subscribe? Go on.